You know, we talked earlier about different things being here at Ascot, not just races, but movies were here, uh, commercials were filmed here, uh, uh, lots of things were filmed here. One of my favorites, and we're standing in front of this corrugated board because not only were there celebrity demolition derbies, and I mean big name race drivers and movie stars, because we're in the Los Angeles area, and they were thrilled to come and crash cars here at Ascot, and those two were on national television, but the movie Gone in 60 Seconds with Toby Hellicky, who was our neighbor just up the street here, uh, filmed a lot of his movie, not only in the South Bay here, but here at Ascot. Toby was a smart operator, and uh, he was kind of a guy that uh, flew by the seat of his pants, and there's lots of stories to tell you about how Gone in 60 Seconds was made, but part of it is, when you're making a movie, you need thousands of extras. You need, you need a lot of... Uh, uh, extra stuff like race cars and drivers and trophies and trophy girls and all that stuff to be as a backdrop for the story. Well, Toby knew J.C. Agajanian and Toby also knew that we had national championship races here with nationally known race drivers. So he got the okay from J.C. to just do some wild shooting here. And he came in with some of his people. He, show, he followed them around with a camera. He went down onto the racetrack during a trophy presentation. He filmed J.C. And in fact, uh, he had a Rolls Royce set up that he had as J.C. Agajanian's car. And that was played into the movie by being one of the cars he had to steal. So so setting it up here at Ascot, setting it up during a race, and he used all of our fans as extras. In those days, without permission, he just shot the grandstands, and Toby used Ascot as a backdrop during an actual race. Later on, he went ahead and stole the Rolls Royce, and that was part of his being gone in 60 seconds with automobiles. So there's more to tell about that story, but the fact that it was shot here was really something interesting. And it's turned into a kind of a cult classic. Uh, you could rent the Gone in 60 Seconds, and they made a Gone in 60 Seconds too. You could rent the original, you could see Toby, and in fact, you could see myself as one of the uh, uh, inspectors who was looking for this guy that was stealing all these cars. And I don't know to this day whether Toby put me in because he needed a guy to drive a car and act like a policeman, or whether he did it so that he was nice to JC's kid so he could use JC's racetrack later on in his film. Toby is a great guy, he was a smart guy, and that's just how the, uh, the film was made. See ya, Ascot. It was great, wasn't it, when it ran. Oh. You know, it's fun to reminisce, but it brings back some, some great memories, and you know, it kind of makes you sad that it's gone now.